I want to say that about Harold, uh, a number of us have uh, funny stories to tell, and some of them cannot be said to a group, this a large group or public group. But uh, Harold himself used to tell me, uh, he used to say that, uh, uh, that, for example, when people would tell some story that was make, poking fun at him or at me or at both of us, he used to tell me as a bit of advice, he said, you know, you only remember it for good in this world if people have some funny little stories to tell about you. So it's very appropriate to have such stories about Harold. Uh, so uh, I'm going to next ask one of the uh, people who helps direct the New York, this number theory uh, colloquium, uh, Doreen Goldfeld, who is a friend of mine for many, almost as long actually as Patrick. Uh, and Doreen is a distinguished colleague at Columbia and uh, also was an attendee of that seminar. So I'll ask Doreen to say a few words. Yeah, actually, I was a student of uh, Pat Gallagher. <clears throat> I was always interested in prime numbers, and at Columbia they had all these fancy lectures on cohomology and topology, which I couldn't understand at the time. And then one day Pat said, there's a number theory seminar at NYU. There was no number theory seminar at Columbia at that time. And he took me there, and that's when I first met um, Harold Shapiro. It's about 1967. And I think uh, in this picture here, I think I may have been at that lecture because I remember Harold Shapiro lecturing on the elementary proof of the prime number theorem. I have a little story to tell about Harold. Um, it happened much later, in 1998. Um, one day, my, my daughter goes to Tenafly High School. She went to Tenafly High School. Um, she was, she was in seventh grade, I guess it was the middle school, and she comes home one day and she says, do you know a mathematician named Shapiro? I said, well, what's his first name? I said, I know a Harold Shapiro, but it's been years. I haven't seen him in years. Well, there's this kid, Ben Shapiro, in my class, and uh, he says his, his grandfather's a mathematician. <laughs> anyway, it, it turned out that they knew each other. And uh, and it was it was Ben Ben Shapiro. Is he here? Yes, he's supposed yeah. to be. Where Who is, is he? Where is he? He's here. Did he leave? He was here a minute ago. Oh. <laughs> he's going to miss this story. Oh, too bad. <laughs> anyway, the, a few days later, my daughter comes to me and she says uh, they were in this honors algebra class together, and she says that the, the teacher said you can't take the square root of i. And I discussed it with Ben, and it doesn't seem right. <laughs> so I told her, you, you can take the square root of i. I mean, if you square 1 plus i and square that, you almost get the square root of i. Just have to correct by square root of 2. And, and then she comes back to me, and she said, the teacher got very angry when I contradicted her. <laughs> um, anyway, the next day, there was a, um, a parent-teacher's meeting, and I went there. And the teacher gave a lecture, and she said that she was doing the most recent mathematics, and and she was sh she she showed people that you invent this square root of i, this imaginary number, but she said that she went even further that you can't take the square root of this imaginary number; you have to create another new number. <laughs> and I had an argument with her. And two days later, my daughter came back. She says, please don't discuss this anymore with the teacher because she's getting, I'm going to get it, I'm going to fail this class. Anyway, so I called Harold because Ben was having the same problem. Actually, Harold called me. Ben was having the same problem with the teacher. He said, my advice to you is just don't discuss it with the teacher at all. It'll just lead to more trouble. The kids will have a lot of trouble. I took his advice and all was well after that. <laughs> <laughs>